Alright, today I'm going to show you how to make a wheel. Now the wheel can be made with a uh, uh, subunit uh, of a 6 ball, 9 ball, 12 ball, or 15 ball uh, tube. Uh, 9 ball I think is the easiest. So I'm going to start off with a 9 ball today and I'm going to add to this to make a tube. Again it's going to be offset. Now I like to do it with six. To me that's the easiest. So again, uh, six nine ball circles and one end I'm going to pinch this into a triangle. And every other one, every other circle will be pinched into a triangle. Now this takes a little practice uh, to get uh, the right one. That's one reason I like to work with only six because I find it easier. What I do here is I go through and I check the points to make sure that I've got nothing bulging. I can take that and pinch it if it's bulging out. Okay. So that's what uh, that looks like. Triangle one end and sort of a triangular circle on the other. Then I take a flat surface and I stick it. And this takes a little practice. And I just tap it. And I'm going to tap it. And you notice it collapses. Okay, so as not to bore you, I've already made a few others here to show you. So I've got a stack, and I take this six here, and I take the triangular end, and I sort of stick it to the circular triangle, triangular end there. All right. You see it's sort of expanded. So once again, I'm going to sit here and hold this, and I'm going to tap it. And it collapses. So, I don't want to bore you with all the, the details of making that, so I've already put one together that's made up of 56 of the nine ball circles, every other one into a triangle, and then collapsed. What I do now is, at the very top here, I'll take these two and pinch. And I pinch every other one, and you notice it starts to curve. So I'm just going to continue doing that, working my way around, let it curve as I go. Now this one kind of came down here and collapsed a little bit. You may have to go back and clean things up a little bit. You know, if you had some that uh, came back together you want to pinch those to make sure and then what you're going to do is you're going to bring it around and complete it you have to be a little gentle here as you apply pressure there we go and then you can clean it up a little bit there are some that are bulging out there so you want to make sure you got a nice circle there and there's probably a little clean up to do you know and there's nothing to say you can't make it with uh, you know bigger um, more balls to make a bigger wheel and that's basically it right there now the other thing you can do where I only did one side here you can do two adjacent so I do these two rotate it around and do these two and what you get there is you start to get sort of a tire effect. So you see how that has a, a sort of a flat top? You get more of a tire. And again, notice if you want to put this back together, you just kind of take it and just wiggle it and apply a little pressure. And you see it collapses once again. Very flexible. Now I've already done another one where I did the entire tire. So you can see how that has a, a different effect than this one. The one on the left is more of a torus. Uh, 
one on the right, a tire.